welcome and thank you for watching Mitsub TV. So I want to have a quick look at the BKFC 60 that's just come out of Milton Keynes, the UK there on the April the 6th, which is the Saturday just past there. With uh, Franco Tanagula, James Lilly headlining the bill. And that was for the inaugural 155 BKFC title, um, which went to Franco Tanagula. First, let's have a look and see what my predictions on this were. Both fighters, you know, they're really, really great fighters, two of my favorite fighters out there. Um, I just think Lily is is too finely tuned in bare knuckle. Um, Franco Tanaglia, we do know, um, you know, James is going to know he's been in a fight, that's for sure. I just think technically James, you know, he can deal with, he can deal with pretty much anything. We've seen him in there with some of the best in the world. Um, you know, and he just he just has that extra level um, for me. So James Lilly on this one. And the loss aside, um, my feelings on that still stand. Um, I thought James, he was uh, dominating pretty much apart from the second uh, and his put down on the first. But I thought he was winning the first round um, quite comfortably. Uh, and you saw in there that Franco, he couldn't do anything about James's James's uh, jab there. He was getting through with it. And I think towards the end of the first round, Franco had seen something uh, and he started beckoning on uh, the backhand from James. He wasn't doing anything. He wasn't responding to the jab anymore. Um, and James threw it and uh, Franco made James pay. And it was a hell of a knockdown, a really heavy knockdown. I don't know how James got back to his feet there. Uh, he didn't really recover um, until the very end of the second round there. So you're going to be thinking um, on today's scoring system uh, that uh, Franco's taken the, the first two with the 10-8 ruling uh, for the knockdown in the first there, which, you know, you'll have heard me talking about the 10-8 rule. I don't like it. I don't like a 10 must. It's uh, it's not a fair, fair way, way of scoring. If you lose one point for touching the canvas, you can still win the round and your opponent can still uh, lose one point. So you should be able to have a 9-9 round. There's a massive difference in that uh, in accurately scoring the fight then uh, automatically deducting the two points for the knockdown, which is what you're doing in effect by demanding that one of the fighters has a 10. Because if you, your opponent has to lose a point, he has to be the one that's now, that's now scoring nine. So it's impossible for him to score 10. Um, and therefore you lose an, another point just by default. So I hate the 10 must system. Um, for me, that for the first round is just another example of a, of a round that should have been a 9-9 call. Um, yes, he lost the second. Um, James lost the second very clearly. Um, I mean, I'm very, very happy uh, for Franco. He, like I said, he's one of my favorite fighters out there. Um, I think he's fantastic. Fantastic for the, for the sport. You know, he always looks amazing. Um, he, he fights, he always brings war. Nobody's ever been in there with Franco Tanaglia and not felt like they've been at war. So I'm very, very happy for Franco. Really deserving, you know. He really lives that life. And so it's really good to see fighters getting, you know, get some rewards for their hard work and their lifestyle. You know, it's a massive, it's a massively difficult lifestyle to live um, like he does. And um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased for him. But James took the three, four, and five there. So I think everybody, everybody would have thought that would have gone to six. I, I'm still mystified on how it didn't go to six. But if you're going to call it, if they're going to call it after five, I can't make a case for James to win under the 10 must ruling and uh, five only rounds. It would have to go to Franco. So I can understand how uh, they raised Franco's hand there. But I'm still really mystified on why that six round was, wasn't cool. Well, I think I kind of know, but uh, based on, on, on what we saw, that was a draw after five uh, and should have gone to, should have gone to six, but it is what it is. Um, James did a fantastic job of getting back to his feet um, after that knockdown and regaining himself. He took a round to kind of dust himself off and, you know, bring himself back to life. And uh, then he, he won three, four and five. So, um, well done to Franco 
Tenaglia, commiserations to uh, to James Lynn.